Hello people, this is Easy Techie, and I actually wanted to fix this problem, error code 51, and I was I was actually be being bugged up with this issue, and I actually wanted to fix it, and I got the fix. Uh, one of the fixes worked for me. However, I will still give you some of the other fixes that will that may be helping you, because th those are the very source of problems of our crashes that happens in Skyrim and uh, uh, Oblivion as well so let me just clarify here uh, with the with the causes and solutions to the problems okay so this particular article that you're seeing in front of you in the video is basically on my blog uh, you can visit my blog from the link in the description and read this post directly but I'm gonna explain this uh, this article over here because I've actually mentioned all the fixes and there are some things that I want to mention. If you do not want to watch the video, you can just go ahead, go to the link in the description and just read for yourself. Okay, uh, that is for reference. So the main cause of error code 51 as per Steam is that there are some unnecessary background programs or some programs interfering with Steam uh, or interfering when, you know, the game is launching. So you must be able to disable that and if you're able to disable that then you'll be fixing the problem so first of all try playing the game in windowed mode okay so because if there are no serious issues if there are no issues with like common issues to all games or something or there is a virus or something or maybe antivirus so if those are the things that may happen uh, then uh, maybe your game is crashing because of that and so you need to first of all try playing the game in windowed mode you can just go to uh, C program file steam steam apps common Skyrim and try launching Skyrim from there uh, using the Skyrim launcher executable file okay the second uh, fix that I can recommend is that you stop the unnecessary programs you can go ahead go to MS config just type in MS config in run uh, and just hit enter and then go to startup you'll find a list of softwares that are you know opened uh, at startup by default you can just disable them just check in and disable them do not disable the necessary programs just disable the unnecessary ones uh, some sometimes you might be needing to disable some of the uh, services as well but just disable the startup first and try it out if you if you can make the game uh, working so that's one thing I highly recommend and the next thing that I would say is to open up the task manager disable I mean stop the background programs uh, which may be virus which may be toolbars etc something might be causing some problem some software so uh, and most importantly as per steam you you should be disabling hijack or by airfoil application and you you can you need to uninstall f secure also okay if you can do that and if your game plays i mean you can play the game with that then uh, that's the fix that i can recommend and yeah so the next thing that i would say is uh, downgrade your graphics driver software so if been if you've been playing the game with a with an older version of nvidia graphics card and later when you upgraded to a beta version you got this error which which happened to many people so you can just downgrade to a lower version of nvidia especially to 290.53 which worked for some just downgrade to it and try playing the game again okay the next uh, recommendation that i can give is that you verify your game cache this is something which is uh, actually being told everywhere if you haven't done that try doing that and uh, you will find some craft files uh, you can even try deleting the d3d9.dll and repeat that stuff if that if that doesn't work so that's one thing I can recommend and other than that you, can, you may disable the mods because mods are becoming source of many problems if you have installed a lot of mods then they might be interfering with the with the game um, so you can disable them for a while and try playing the game 
uh, if necessary try reinstalling the game because there are some mods which do not I mean they have some traces left in the game so you need you can simply you know reinstall the game you can uh, back up the saved files and reinstall the game and try if that works the next thing is you may need to delete the Skyrim INI file it is uh, created at startup by default so you need not worry about that just delete it and try playing the game the next thing I would, that I would recommend is that you disable yeah that's something I told earlier so that is okay so yeah yeah that's that's all I need to say and uh, if you have if you still have problems or you have some fixes that you you can share with us then just comment below okay or just visit my blog I'll be updating my blog with more fixes and yeah thanks for watching and like it if that helped you okay bye